Today I'm going to answer the question that I'm sure keeps all of you up at night. What does this number here mean? Welcome to Venture Synthetic Lubricants. Today I'm going to attempt to explain what the numbers on your oil bottle mean. I've got my Nerdbird whiteboard to help us out here. So our example here is SAE 10W30. So SAE is a society of automotive engineers. They're the ones that set um, the standards by which our oil is rated, uh, as well as other things, not just oil. I was going to attempt to define viscosity, um, but upon doing research for this video, I found that that definition is fairly complex and a little bit over my head. So uh, there's a lot to it, different uh, ways to measure different types of viscosity, things like this. So for the pur purpose of this video, um, the, the best definition could be said uh, the, the rate at which the, the oil flows at a given temperature. <clears throat> so, um, and, and again, that's not the definition, but that will get us, that will answer our question here. So one important thing to note about this number is that these numbers, 10 and 30, they are not actual viscosity um, measurements. Those would be like uh, millimeters squared over seconds. They would be like flow rates, things like that, or um, resistance rates uh, when, you, when you stick a metal rod in there and uh, try and stir, um, there would be a measurement of resistance or flow. So these are just the numbers that the SAE has assigned. You know, this given oil, okay, they use, they use 100 degrees Celsius or 212 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, this given oil flows at this rate at that temperature. And so um, some common, common uh, oils would be like zero, five, 10, and, and it goes, you know, it goes down. So the basic gist is that zero flows faster. Okay, so the lower the number, it flows faster. And then the higher the number, obviously, is slow, is it, it flows slower. Now the other side of it though is that the lower the number, um, the less it resists um, the friction. If, if your number is too low and there's too much friction, then um, it will just it will just shear the oil and move it, uh, and it won't provide the lubrication that it needs to. So um, lower the lower number is less lubrication. and the higher number is more. So I should also state here that um, the, the colder an oil is, is thicker. And as, as the oil heats up, it gets thinner. So um, our, in our, the example of our 30 weight, the 30 weight oil would provide optimum protection at um, operating temperature so you know because you're right around that uh, 200 mark and so it's gonna it's gonna flow real well but it's still gonna provide protection whatever the drawback is that when the car was cold uh, especially like on a winter morning that oil is very thick and so it's not gonna want to go through the water or go through the oil pump and then um, through all the oil galleys in the engine and get where it needs to go and so during that time where you're waiting for the oil to warm up, there um, is the potential for the engine to run, engine components to be running dry and for it to cause damage. Now, the opposite um, would happen if say that engine was running a 10 weight oil or uh, maybe, maybe a zero weight oil. Um, when you start it and it's really cold, it's gonna flow and it's gonna get where it needs to go and whatever, but as that engine heats up and gets hot, it's not going to provide adequate protection because that oil is going to get thinner and thinner and it's not, it's not going to uh, provide that lubricating film between the moving parts. So this is where we get multi-grade oil.
Our base oil is a 30 weight. It acts like a 30 weight at 212 degrees Fahrenheit. But when it's cold, it acts like a 10 weight oil. So our W is not weight. The W is actually for winter. In, so our oil functions at normal operating temperature like a 30 weight and in winter conditions or when the engine's cold it functions like a 10 weight oil. So that's about it. I hope that some of you will sleep better tonight now that these uh, questions have been answered. Um, but seriously, if you thought that the video was interesting, useful, whatever, um, please click the thumbs up and subscribe. Uh, if you have more questions or uh, something else you'd like to, to ask about, um, put them in the comments below. If you've got questions about AMSOIL, um, products, uh, getting signed up, whatever, um, check out my website. It'll be linked in the description. There you can get a hold of me and uh, we can get you set up. And uh, look us up on Facebook, Venturi Synthetic Lubricants. Uh, we appreciate all the likes uh, and we'll see you next time.